What's up, Libra? It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. Welcome back to the channel. I am here to do a mini collective reading for you all. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. Do keep in mind that this is a general and that it may or may not resonate with all of you Libras out there. So do not force it to fit. Alrighty, so let's hop in. Let's see what's going on, Libra. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Let's see what's going on with Libra. Spirit, what's going on with Libra? What do they need to know? All right, so we got Gemini, the Gemini card. So it says search for exchange, all right? So something is, it says search for exchange. So three weeks, three months. So in the book, this card means something that is reciprocated. So it can be, you know, like you are wanting something that is equal. It's an equal give and take, all right? Um, so let's see what this is about. All right, this can be the energy coming towards you guys, okay? Um, in this reading, I'm just doing like a whatever comes out, comes out reading. I'm not focusing on, you know, like just love or general. If it's love in general, whatever comes out, it just comes out. All right, Libra. So let's see what this is about. All right, let's see what y'all got going on. You guys can be talking to a Gemini. Maybe have Gemini heaven in your chart. All right, but you guys are wanting something to be reciprocated. You're like, as much as I put into the situation, I want it in return all right so let's see spirit universe and my ancestors please guide me through this reading for libra sun moon rising also venus what do they need to know in here at this time libra all right let's see what message do you have for my libras libra we have the eight of wands the hangman the emperor the Hermit, Ace of Swords, you're gaining mental clarity on something. The Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, so it's kind of like you guys are falling back a little bit. Like you, um, you want them to treat, like you want to be treated the same way you treat them. Like, you know, yeah, you want it to be equal. Like you want somebody to treat you right. You're like, I treat you right, treat me right. But let me see what this is about. Mm-hmm. Let's see why this um, searching for exchange three weeks, three months is here for Gemini. Why is this here for Gemini? Why is this energy here for Gemini? Nine of Cups. Mm -hmm. You're ready to, like you, okay. Let's see. For one, you guys are tired of somebody's attitude, okay? You're tired of feeling like this. You're tired of somebody's negative attitude. You're tired of some type of drama, all right? Um, you're tired of overthinking the situation, whatever this may be. And it's like 70% of you was like, this needs to be done and over with because I don't think they're ever going to make me happy or reciprocate the same energy. So that's what this is about. Some of you guys are dealing with a Scorpio, okay? So you just feel like the energy is just not reciprocated in this relationship, Um and this could be any type of relationship, romantic, friendship, family, whatever. You just feel like something is not reciprocated. Um, let me see something. Libra. You guys can be dealing with a Virgo or an Aries. All right, let's see why the Eight of Wands is here. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Why is it a want to? Fair Libra, what is this about? Justice. Yeah, that's your energy. The Emperor. You like put some respect on it. So you guys want some respect. You feel you want respect, okay? Could be an Aries, could be a Libra. We have the Empress. This is your energy. Libra, Taurus. Um, hmm. But this looks, it's interesting because we have the emperor and the empress here. Hmm. Once this emperor, so I have the empress here. See, it's like you're going to get the love and the respect that you deserve, but I don't feel like it's going to be with this person. Ten of pentacles, let's see. Mm. For some of you, their family just doesn't approve either. So if this is a relationship, some type of 
you know, commitment, engagement, or something like that, somebody's family doesn't approve and of this situation, or somebody could be getting married around you. But it's like somebody doesn't approve of something, of a relationship. Somebody is also like, think before you do it. Like, are you sure this is what you want to do? You know, the hangman is like somebody telling somebody, you know, think about it, you know, especially with the hermit here. But it's also like giving me like, it's kind of like, I don't know, I'm getting Libra. Like, I respect you. Why don't you respect me? I respect your wishes. Respect mine. I respect your relationships. Respect mine. So this is like a respect thing. It's more like a respect thing, no matter what the situation is. You know, you're like, I'm always giving you love. I'm always showing you love and support. I'm always there for you. Okay, somebody could also be upset that somebody didn't show up to an event or something that was very important to them. Or you will be upset that they didn't show up to an event or something that was very important to you. All right, some of you guys are daddy's girl or daddy's girl. Or you, got, you guys are going to meet somebody that's like your father. But it would be if you and your father have like a really, really good relationship, okay? So the man that you marry may be like your father in some type of way. Some of you guys do have an older male coming into your life. Some of you guys, you are going to meet your person. This is a divine soulmate connection. All right, the person that is entering your life and coming into your life, you guys are just needing to figure out what you're going to do with this other situation. Now, for others of you, you already met this person, some of you guys, and they're in your life. You just haven't seen it yet. Like, it's like they're that they, you know them, but it's like you haven't seen them as that person, like somebody that you will be with or commit to or have some type of long term relationship with. It could be somebody that you know through your family, like meaning like your family introduced them. They can be, I know not to say it like this, but say like one of your parents know their parents and you know you've known this person for a long time at least a relationship it could be something like that as well um but you guys definitely um will have a lot in common here yeah and this is the person this is this is the person that's actually going to make you happy this is the person that you're going to meet um i would say give or take nine to ten weeks i know it says three weeks to three months but it's like something is not going to be given anymore. You're not going to like want a situation anymore. It's like you definitely are wanting and seeking happiness. And this other person is going to give it to you. Whoever this is, this is somebody that you definitely will move forward with and possibly marry. All right. And it will be good. And it will be like your family will really support this. Your family and friends and everybody will support this connection. Okay. Yeah. The depth card is here. And we have the four wands. Yeah. If what you are wanting is like marriage and commitment, something long term, I just don't feel like it's with that person. And that's what you are searching for, that exchange where it's, like I said, an equal give and take. You want They want marriage. They want love. You know, they accept children. Like they want this. They want that. It's not with them. And that's what you guys are back and forth about because I feel like the relationship you have with them, maybe you don't want to let it go. Maybe a part of the relationship does make you happy. But at the end of the day, I just feel like it's. Mm, kind of like you settling because it's just not an equal give and take all right it's, but then also like there's some type of like i said respecting or issue with somebody respecting you or you feeling like somebody like you know or maybe you feel disrespected in some type of way or something like that but um hmm. let's see how this virgo i mean not this virgo i said let's see how this virgo is here the hermit but that is virgo energy let's see how this hermit is here Maybe there's a Virgo in your life that's disrespectful, that doesn't respect you or something like that. Let's see. But it is a Hermit, Eight of Swords. This person is on your mind, though. You worry about this person. Mm, let's see. Mm. Let's see. Oh, you guys, let me watch them on here. This could be a sibling, though. I don't know. There's this could be a sibling or an ex lover. There's somebody around you that's blaming you, they're blaming you for something. You guys just have two different perspectives, they're blaming you for something. You guys will eventually reconnect, okay. Um, but not right now. So I'm getting a lot of Virgo energy around you guys. They just see things from their perspective. You see things from your perspective. They feel like something is not fair. Somebody feels like somebody is the favorite or like you didn't have to experience this or go through what I went through. You don't understand where I'm coming from, stuff like that. Um, yeah, like somebody doesn't want to come around the family or deal with the family or come around you or deal with you. Yeah, somebody is just keep it to themselves because like I said, they, they have their perspective on of the situation and how they feel 
and I don't feel like that's going to change anytime soon. But this person also at the same time, I feel like can be very disrespectful, Libra. And that is a problem and an issue for you because you feel like you don't disrespect them, you know, or you feel like you're trying to work on the relationship with them and make things better. That can be it too. So for some of you guys, it's not even like a romantic thing. This has to do with like family or friends. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? The Fool. You guys have something new coming in for you guys. Um, take that leap. Whatever this is, don't be scared. Libra, do it. Okay? All right? Some of you guys are starting to get the attention that you guys want in a good way, but it come, when it comes to work, career, stuff like that. All right? Yeah, the magician. You guys manifested something that's falling in your lap. You have Seven of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay? You guys tried a lot of different ways to get this to happen or... You guys were just in your head and just couldn't figure out the remedy, what to do, how to manifest it, and it, it's now happening. Yeah, good news is coming in for you guys, okay? Um, we do have the chariot here. Something is changing in your financial situation, though, because we have the six of pentacles reverse. Whether this is like you got to spend a lot of money on something or your check is going to be kind of different this week, this month, or funny, you know, um, maybe you're not getting like, you know, say if it was like child support, you're not getting the payment or you know, something like that, or, you know, it's Mother's Day weekend coming up, so maybe you're not working your side job or something like that, but I do see a change in your finances, though, but also see something falling into your lap, something that you manifested, okay, so that's good, you guys are needing to work on the heart chakra, because we got some heartbreak here, some sadness, some tears, okay, all right, so this is like, you know, crying in the shower, crying in the mirror, like, you, you're getting out of this energy, though, you're shifting out of this energy, but something definitely has you, like, just heartbroken and feeling devastated, and and it's just like you're tired of this. You're ready for this to be over. Yeah. It's like you also feel like when it comes to another situation, you feel like people don't get you or somebody just doesn't understand. You feel like, okay, they don't get me. They don't understand where I'm coming from. And like, you know, and you feel like, mm, I wouldn't say like you're the black sheep, but you just feel like, you know, like they don't see it the way I see it. You know, they treat me different. They treat me like this. You know, one day they'll understand. All right, but that's for a few of you guys. I don't think that's going to resonate with all of you. All right, so let's pull some love messages. Um, Libra. I, I feel like I keep in the same cards. Winter season. So something is going to happen during winter season or something happened in the past winter season, past winter season. We have money issue. Remember I told you there's a, there's a change in your finances here. We have side piece. Somebody with somebody's side piece or has one. Mm. Hmm. All right, let's see. Sorry, Libra, I was just being nosy. And it just said that they were going to deny it, but I can just pull it in. Mm -hmm. Yep, and you told them to go go be with that beach. All right, so let's see. Um, we have businessmen. Some of you guys are meeting someone that's a businessman. All right. Um, this relationship will move slow, but it will move. All right. Somebody's confused as to why you don't want to work things out with them. All right, and we have STD here. So some of you guys could have got something or you're getting a test, but you're in the clear. All right. Oh, wrong with it. It says great, um, great results. You're clear. Nothing to worry about. So maybe you were scared or something like that or somebody told you something or something like that. I don't know. Maybe it was a change, you know, down there or something like that. Well, after, no, for some of you guys, after you found out they had a side piece or was sleeping with other people, you went and got tested. You don't have it. No, you don't. Mm -mm, you don't have it but i feel like you just did it because of everything you found out all righty so that is what i have for you libra that is your a reading your mini reading all right if you guys um resonated please do like share comment subscribe hit that bell if you guys love to book you already know fireintuition.com all righty bye libra